Hi, I'm Margaret Reed McDonald. I'm going to tell you an Inuit story called The Ice Bear. You can find it in a book I wrote called Look Back and See, if you'd like to tell it yourself. There was once an old man and an old woman who had no children of their own. One day, the old man killed an ice bear, a polar bear. And when he was cleaning the bear and cutting the meat, he had an idea. He took some of the bone, some of the flesh, some of the fur, he molded it together, and he held it in his hands, and he chanted. He said, blood become bone, bone become flesh, flesh become fur, bear child, bear child, come alive for me. He had made a little bear child, and it came alive. It was a living little bear child. He took it home to his wife and said, look, we have a child of our own. Oh, the old woman and the old man took it into their house. They fed it at their table, let it sleep under their covers. And every day the child would go out and play on the ice with the other ice bear children. And after a while they said, we should adopt the bear child and make him truly ours. And so they held him in both of their, all of their hands and they said, blood of our blood. Bone of our bone, bear child, bear child, you are our child. It was now truly their own child. Still a little bear, ice bear, but their own child. Every day the ice bear child would still play with the other children. And one day the old woman said to the old man, you know, you grow ever weaker, but our bear child grows ever stronger. Do you think he's big enough now to bring us a salmon for our supper? And the old man said, I can ask him. And he went to the door and he called, blood of my blood, bone of my bone, bear child, bear child, come to me. And the bear child ran over the ice and the old man embraced him. He said, I am the house father and you are my son. I grew ever weaker, but you grew ever stronger. You think you're strong enough now to go and bring us a salmon for our supper? And the bear child thought and said, and he went away and he came back with a salmon. The old woman cleaned it, cooked it, and put some salmon steaks in front of the bear child and he ate them and nodded. Sometime later, the bear child was much bigger. And the old man said to the old man, you know, you grow ever weaker, but the bear child grows ever stronger. You think he's strong enough now to go and bring us a seal for our supper? I can ask him. And he went to the door and he called, blood of my blood, bone of my bone, bear child, bear child, come to me. The bear child came to the old man and he embraced him. He said, I am the house father and you are my son. I grow ever weaker, but you grow ever stronger. Do you think you're strong enough now to bring us a seal for our supper? The bear child thought. And he went away and he came back with a seal. And the old woman cleaned it and cooked it and put some in front of the bear child and he ate it. Sometime later, the bear child was even bigger. The old woman said to the old man, our bear child grows ever stronger, but you grow ever weaker. Do you think he's strong enough now to bring us a, a, a walrus for our supper? Wow, I can ask him. And he went to the door and he called, blood of my blood, bone of my bone, bear child, bear child, come to me. The bear child came to the old man, he embraced him. He said, I am the house father and you are my son. I grow ever weaker, but you grow ever stronger. Do you think you're strong enough to bring us a walrus for our supper? Oh, the bear child thought. And he went away. And he came back with a walrus. Oh, the old woman cleaned it, made walrus steaks, cooked some and put one in front of the bear child and he ate it and nodded. Sometime later, the bear child was fully grown. The old woman said to the old man, we have had nothing but seafood, fish and seal and walrus. I long for some good red meat. Our bear child is fully grown now. Do you think he's strong enough to bring us an ice bear for our supper? 
whoa, I could ask him. And the old man called, blood of my blood, bone of my bone, bear child, bear child, come to me. The bear child came over the ice and the old man embraced him. I am the house father and you are my son. I grow ever weaker, but you grow ever stronger. You're fully grown now. Do you think you're strong enough to bring us an ice bear for our supper? Bear child shook his head. Oh, I am the house father. You are my son. I've raised you from a cub. It's your duty to provide for your family. You are strong. You can do it. Go and bring us an ice bear for our supper. The bear child shook his head. I am the house father, and you are my son. I've raised you from a cub. It's your duty to provide for your family. You can do it. You are strong. Go and bring us an ice bear for our supper. And the bear child went away. And that night, he came back dragging a dead ice bear. The old woman cleaned the bear and made some steaks and fried them and put some in front of the bear child. But the bear child would not eat. In the morning, when the old man and the old woman awoke, the house fire was out. The home was cold. The bear child was gone. They followed the bear child's tracks, calling, blood of our blood, bone of our bone, bear child, bear child, come back to us. But the bear child never returned. This is the story of an old man and an old woman who lost the child they loved so dearly because they could not understand his ways.